Countess, and I think we all know that scamming is one of the most serious issues in Animal Jam. Scamming causes tears, drama, and players quitting. Animal Jam is meant to be a fun environment, not a stressful one. It's impossible to eliminate all scammers, but we can prevent ourselves from falling for their scams. If you want to avoid scams and stay smart, keep watching, because today we're talking about the top scams and how you can prevent them. Number one, know your items and their worths. Sometimes jammers end up with rare items that they might not even know about. Not knowing the worth of your item makes you vulnerable to an undertrade scam. Jammers fall for bad trades all the time, just because the scammer claims they're fair. But if you don't know the real worth, you're likely to accept the trade and end up much less rare than you were before, which is always pretty upsetting. A good way to keep your knowledge is by watching recent trade attempts that took place in the last month or so. This ensures that the worths will still be the same. Aprox also has a channel that is very helpful, specifically a video where jammers comment the worth of every item. It's pretty handy, so I'll link it in the description. Number 2. No real betas. There's an array of items in Animal Jam that look just like their beta, as well as actual betas that have been re-released. When you're trading with den betas, make sure each item is an actual beta. Some of the common attempted scams include bongos, rocking chairs, and giant gumball machines, which are all from the trading party, and any item that says beta in the name, which are all from the beta party. While the party is not around, they are worth some, but they're still not real. Re-released betas to be mindful of are basketballs and basketball hoops, which were re-released a few months ago, and the current re-releases scented candles, wheelbarrow planters, bicycles, and inline skates. This isn't to say that they'll never be rare again, but as of now they're not considered real betas because they're in the stores, or have been in the stores recently. Number 3. Never gift trade or trust trade. You'd think it'd be a no-brainer to avoid gifting rare items on the promise of an item back and literally giving your items to someone else with the hope that they'll give them back. But something about these clever scams always entices jammers. Offers get more and more promising, but even if they offer a headdress or a spike in return, don't risk it. It's hard to turn down these offers, but the motive is just bad. 9 out of 10 times, these jammers have no reason to want to gift you and are only out to get your items. In fact, the item they're advertising may have even been stolen too. Number four, do your research and analyze items. This covers just about every unreleased item scam, promo scam, and fake glitched item scam. When jammers have an item they you've never seen before and they're claiming it to be worth a lot, do your research. There's a high chance it could be a brand new promo that not many people have seen yet. Sometimes it takes a while for the news of a promo item to come out. Wait for information to come before trading. If the item really is what they say, you'll know because it will be all over Animal Jam YouTubers and Instagrammers pages. Sometimes the item you're trading for is confirmed to have worth, but it's not always genuine. The gold bunny scam from way back is a good example. The bunnies looked similar, but you had to analyze the tags and the certificate. The real bunnies had both a rare tag and a diamond tag. Promos are the cause of most of this type of scam. Many promos that have either been forgotten about or just aren't recognized are claimed to be glitched. When Jammer showed images of non-member princess furniture, it was claimed to be glitched, but it was actually just a promo. Always know what you're trading for before you accept. Stay safe, Jammers. I hope you find my tips and examples helpful. Feel free to leave a scam story below so that we can learn from each other's mistakes and I'll possibly even make a video using your story to teach other jammers how not to have the same thing happen to them. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. You'll be sent an invisible high five from a hamster within .001 seconds. You can subscribe today to become an official fabulous sausage. I will see all of you next time, but for now, Countess out.